doing this DIY, I'm going to start by taking this pair of jeans that I found in the boy section. And I'm going to turn them into a super cute, girly pair of jeans. And I'm going to do this by acid washing them with this bleach. And these are the colors of paint that I decided to use. And then scissors, my charcoal pencil, and then just a bunch of different sizes of paintbrushes. So this is how the jeans turned out after the bleaching process. I left them in for about 20 to 30 minutes and they did turn out pretty light. But you could totally change that just by how long you leave them in for. With a sharpie I marked how much of the jeans I wanted to cut off and I did decide to make these pretty short just because I like that style. I'm trying my best just to keep a straight line. With the tweezers, I'm just gonna start to fray the bottom of these jeans. Um, I'm just kind of taking threads one by one and pulling them out. This is a time consuming process. Um, so you can also throw these in the dryer and sort of get the same effect. I'm just gonna do it by hand. I'm going to trim a thin line across the top of both of these pockets and then I'm going to distress those as well. The distressed pockets really did add effect to these jeans, so I decided to do it to the top of the waistline as well. And you can't tell this frayed as much, but still I just enjoyed doing it, added a little something extra. With my charcoal pencil, I'm just starting to draw the outlines of the flame so that it'll be sort of a guide for where I want to paint and this just makes life easier.
I was just trying to take the plastic off of this paint, right? And then my nail gets caught. And my nail broke. <laughs> so I left it in so y'all can see I'm so sad. Still haven't gotten in place. I'm painting the flame outlines all white just so that they have a base layer. And then that'll make the red, orange, and yellow much more vivid. And then you'll see when the jeans are all finished that it ends up making the paint so much brighter. They look so nice at the end. I did let the paint dry each time before I painted another layer. And I painted about two to three coats of white down first. With the red, I'm outlining the top of the flame and then I'm just dragging that color downwards. Next, with the yellow, I'm going to just start filling in the flames from the bottom, working my way upwards. And I'm trying to maintain vertical streaks so that when I go to put the orange in, the flames will blend very smoothly. Then with the orange, I'm filling in the empty space. While the orange is still wet, I'm going back in with the red just to get a smoother blend because if both colors are damp, then they blend super easy. And it's best if you work on one pant leg at a time.
dipping into the yellow and the white, I'm taking those colors and blending them upwards into the orange. Then, as you can see, it is going to create some really peachy and pink tones. And then that is going to change the whole look to the flames. It's going to make them look so much more realistic rather than sort of like neon and cartoon-like. So from this view, y'all might be able to tell a little bit easier how big of a difference those pink tones really did make. So the jeans are basically done now, I'm just going back in with a thin brush and blending or smoothing out any spot that look like they need it. And this is pretty much the final product, I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY. And if you did, be sure to like, subscribe, whatever you want, I'll be putting out new videos soon, and thanks for watching.